Absolutely have. In fact, he's right behind me as we speak. They're getting 11-on-11 uh, 11 11 work right now, but we saw him throwing the ball around a little bit, getting that arm loose. Here, take a look behind me. There he is. Uh, he's just kind of watching action right now, hoping that maybe he can slide in there. But, you know, second to the name Winston, the name Testaverde is the most hope high-profile name to be on the back of a Buccaneer quarterback jersey. So many of the fans out here, they're keeping an eye on him, but he was just signed after working out with the team earlier this offseason so during rookie minicamp. Now, the situation for the elder Testaverde, of course, was much different. He was the Bucks' first overall pick back in 1987. Played six seasons here. As for Vincent, he's an undrafted free agent out of the University of Albany. After bouncing around in college, Texas Tech, Miami, before finally playing his final year at Albany. Uh, no telling how long this opportunity is going to last for him, but he knows that he'll always be compared to his pops, who actually leads the franchise in passing yards still, although Winston is nipping at his heels. But he doesn't really feel the weight of any expectation. I'm not going to go out here and, and try to be like him, you know. Um, I'm my own self. I'm my own my own player. Uh, me and him have different games, different strengths, whatever it may be. So uh, I'm just going to go out there and play my game. That's really what he told me. It's a little loud out here, but I think I'm on camera now. All right, so as for the situation for, for Testaverde, obviously this is going to be an uphill battle because that quarterback room is pretty well settled between Jameis Winston, Blaine Gabbert, and then Ryan Griffin. But Nick Fitzgerald is another rookie they like a lot. He's currently on the active injury list, so that is part of the reason why Testaverde is getting this opportunity here during training camp, but you never know. Injuries happen every single year. That and this is always an audition for other teams that are looking for quarterback depth, so you never know what this opportunity might might have in store for the young Vincent Testaverde, but we'll continue to keep yeah. an eye on him, and we'll have more from Bucks training camp coming up in about 20 minutes.